The auction sizes are unchanged, as the Treasury promised, but we do have some other news. In terms of the auctions, $125 billion is going to be offered next week. $107.8 billion of that goes to refunding, $17.2 billion in new cash. Now, there was a thought that Treasury would reduce bill sales, but they're not going to do that, at least not over the longer term. A slight fluctuation, they said, uh, in the current month, and then in June, they go back to the highs of February and March. A surprise since Treasury bills are above the uh, 20 percent to total uh, Treasury issuance uh, level that the Treasury likes to have. They're also going to make six-week uh, cash management bills a benchmark bill that had been sing signaled for some time. And the other news is the buybacks. Uh, Treasury is going to buy, uh, begin the long-teased buyback program on May 29th. Weekly liquidity support buybacks will be held of up to twenty, uh, up to $2 billion in coupons, and buybacks will begin under a cap of 20 separate CUSIPs, 20 separate uh, bond issues, and that cap will eventually be lifted. So buybacks are going to begin with off-the-run treasuries starting May 29th. In terms of the refunding numbers, as I mentioned, unchanged, $58 billion in three years, $42 billion in 10 years, and $25 billion for the 30 year. So Treasury is keeping auction sizes unchanged, but uh, doing some work around the edges in terms of issuance. Just to be real clear, though, about the buyback program, this is mostly just for liquidity, right? This is liquidity management to take some of the off the run treasuries out of the market and put some uh, more traded ones on the on the on the uh, on the market. I am curious about what the signal is here, Mike, about the fact that it's more heavily weighted to T-bills. Is this basically an idea that eventually yields will come down? You don't want to lock in the rates where they are. Well, that may be. They're not explaining in, in today's announcement why they are uh, staying with basically the skew towards T-bills, but uh, it, it does have the effect of uh, longer term reducing liquidity. So the Treasury may have to change going forward, especially when they get into the third quarter, when issuance is going to have to rise significantly. So uh, at this point, it may be just kind of a holding action. Do we have any sense, Mike, uh, we talked about the earlier uh, announcement on Monday about the borrowing plans and how it came in above a lot of estimates, $41 billion worth, not necessarily a massive number in the scheme of things. But do we have a sense of whether they've gotten fewer tax revenues than they were expecting? What makes up the deficit that we've seen in some of the Treasury's books? Well, it's partly tax uh, receipts and partly projected tax receipts, but also spending has been higher. So the government has got to make up the difference, and that's why they're going to be uh, borrowing more. They anticipate, at least in the third quarter, of over $800 billion.